MTV News was in Arawa recently to observe a meeting of the Joint Weapons Disposal Secretariat. Among those present was Commissioner of the Bougainville Police Service, Francis Tokura. A career police officer, Commissioner Tokura has returned home to head the BPS. His role is challenging, especially for a region that is still reeling from the effects of a decade-long civil unrest. And with weapons still in the hands of different factions, the Bougainville Police Service's role in enforcing the rule of law is even more challenging as they are not allowed to carry weapons. Uh, finding it very difficult to enforce uh, the law fully uh, of the mere fact that most times uh, where crimes are committed, firearms are used or other weapons are used. And most of the times I expect my men and women to go out and uh, attend to those complaints so, because they are also human beings themselves. They fall, fall back a bit. They try to pull back and I keep encouraging them that we just have to do. Given this demanding environment, police have taken a community policing approach. Most importantly, uh, I'm encouraging them to do a lot more awareness. Uh, just to go into the community and tell them that the use of firearms is, is not very good. It's instilling fear in the communities as well. A large part of community policing is utilizing the more than 300 auxiliary police officers within communities throughout the autonomous region. But the community auxiliary police are actually based in the communities. Uh, the, the, the main role is to be in the communities, try to do the, whatever they can uh, in their own uh, capabilities, capacities they, that they have to try and uh, maintain rule of law in, in, in the communities. But the, the total strength of the regular men and women who are supposed to be fully enforcing the rule of law on Bougainville is just 242. And that is not sufficient. However, as in other parts of Papua New Guinea, policeman power remains an issue, with the police-to-population ratio on Bougainville way lower than accepted United Nations standards. Uh, United Nations standards uh, is one policeman to every 450 population. Uh, in our case, it's about one policeman to about one, 1,000 plus population. It, it's, it's, very, uh, it's a very challenging uh, situation we are in at the moment. For now, Bougainville Police Service officers are not allowed to carry weapons. This has made their roles in law enforcement somewhat difficult. But there have been discussions with relevant authorities to see how the police service can be adequately equipped to carry out their roles in a challenging environment. The Bogan Police Service is not allowed to carry firearms, uh, but uh, knowing full well that firearms is part and parcel of and part of our uniform, uh, we are allowed to carry the firearms as well. We've had a lot of discussions with the uh, Bougainville Autonomous Government, the Bougainville Executive Council, uh, on how we can address that particular issue. Most of the times, my men and women are risking their lives to disarm armed offenders. Yes, and most times and they have to pull back because in fear of their lives as well. So it's a very um, uh, challenging situation we are in at the moment.